monoclonal antibodies and their applications. We know that most of the antigens have a complex structure and have many different antigenic determinants also known as epitopes. Therefore, antibodies produced in our body in response to these antigens are heterogeneous that is antibodies specific to each of these epitopes are produced and since they are produced by the clones of many different B lymphocytes they are known as polyclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies in contrast are synthesized by population of identical B cells and therefore are homogeneous all recognizing the same epitope. So we can say different monoclonal antibodies together make up the polyclonal heterogeneous serum antibodies. In our body polyclonal antibodies are more useful because they help in increased protection against the antigen and its proper removal. But in vitro monoclonal antibodies are more preferable. Direct biochemical purification of monoclonal antibodies from a mixture of polyclonal antibodies is not possible. Therefore, they are produced by a method known as hybridoma technology which we will study in the next lecture. This method was devised in the year 1975 by George Kohler and Caesar Milston for which they also awarded Nobel Prize. Now let's see the applications of monoclonal antibodies. They are widely used in research and also have important clinical applications. They are used as in vitro diagnostic reagents and therefore help in identification of numerous pathogenic microorganisms. For example, they are used in ELISA that is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay which is a very important diagnostic test. It allows for rapid screening and quantification of the presence of an antigen in a sample. Monoclonal antibodies are also used in detecting pregnancy that is in human chorionic gonadotropin urine test. Other uses are in measuring blood levels of various drugs, matching histocompatibility antigens, etc. Next application of monoclonal antibody is in imaging and therapy where such antibody is radio labeled that is a radio isotope is attached to the antibody and used for detecting and locating tumor cells in the body permitting early diagnosis of some primary or metastatic tumors. For example, in breast cancer, antibody labeled with iodine 131 is introduced into the blood 
to detect the spread of tumor to regional lymph nodes. Monoclonal antibodies are also used in making immunotoxins which are used in cancer therapy and kill tumor cells. These are hybrid molecules of a monoclonal antibody and a toxin like resin, shigella toxin or a diphtheria, diphtheria toxin. These toxins are very potent and a single molecule can kill one tumor cell. They kill the cell by inhibiting protein synthesis. These toxins have two distinct polypeptide components. One is inhibitory toxin chain which is inserted into the cell by endocytosis and the other is binding chain which binds specifically to the receptors on tumor cells. In an immunotoxin, binding chain is replaced by a monoclonal antibody which is specific to the surface receptor on the tumor cell. Attached monoclonal antibody delivers the toxin chain into the tumor cells and causes the death of the cell by inhibiting protein synthesis. <laughs>